Grade 6 math, number 10.5c. Solve or evaluate versus simplify. The well, book tells us solve this one or evaluate that one, but simplify this one. Well, what does all that mean? Well, the solution of an equation, as we just learned in our previous videos, means to find the value of that variable that makes the equation true. If the equation is 4y equals 8, then y has to equal 2 because 2 is the value of the variable y that will make this true. 2 times 4 is 8. See? It's got to be 2. To solve it is the same thing. It means to find all the solutions, the solutions of the equations. Same thing. To solve for x means to find the value of the variable. Same thing. The solution of the equation, find the value of the variable. All the same thing. To evaluate, same thing as finding the solution. To evaluate, you find the value of a numerical or algebraic expression. The value of 20 divided by 2 is 10. This expression, the value of it, is 10. See? If we had 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 3, to find the value of it, we just do order of operations. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. If we're going to subtract 3, we're going to add the opposite. So we're going to add a negative 3. Negative 8 plus negative 3 is negative 11 times 4 is negative 44. So the value of this numerical expression is negative 44. It's the same thing as saying the value of 2 plus 3 is 5. See? So it's finding the solution. But that's very different from simplifying. To simplify, it means to write a fraction or numerical expression or algebraic expression in its simplest forms. For a fraction, 12 over 3 is 4. 2 6 would be 1 3rd. Those are in their simplest forms. A numerical or algebraic expression, when we simplify those, we're not solving it. We're simplifying it. If we have x times 2 plus 3, of course, order of operations tells us to do in the parentheses first. We've got 5. We've got x times 5. We have 5x. We don't know what x equals. We don't know what the answer to this is. All we know is we have simplified it and gotten 5x. We simplified it as much as possible. Sometimes the answer in an algebra problem can just be some variables and some exponents. That could be an answer. Sometimes the answer is just variables. See? So when we work with algebra, it's really important to understand that when we simplify, we're not really looking for an answer like over here. So don't beat yourself up saying, oh, I can't figure out the answer. I got 5x, but what does x equal? Well, in algebra, you found the answer. It was 5x, OK? So there's a big difference between finding the solution or evaluating compared to simplifying, all right? Don't fret yourself. It's no big deal. You'll be fine. And simplifying is not that big of a deal either. We're going to get into that more next year, but I'll see you next video. I hope this helped clear up some confusion. Bye.